Once upon a time, in a small, isolated village nestled deep within the dark woods, there lived a close-knit community. The villagers were a superstitious lot, believing in the old tales and legends passed down through generations. They knew the forest held secrets, secrets that whispered through the rustling leaves and cast long shadows on moonlit nights. It was in this eerie village that our terrifying tale begins. In the heart of the village stood a dilapidated, abandoned mansion known as Blackthorn Manor. The crumbling structure was said to be cursed, its halls haunted by the restless spirits of the past. No one dared approach it, for they knew the stories of its dark history. But as with any chilling legend, curiosity often overcame caution, and the lore of forbidden knowledge beckoned to the villagers. One fateful night, a group of five friends decided to challenge their fears and venture into the forbidden depths of Blackthorn Manor. Sarah, the bold and adventurous one, led the group, followed closely by James, the skeptic who scoffed at tales of the supernatural. Laura, the timid girl with a nervous disposition, clung to her boyfriend, Mark, seeking comfort and protection. Rounding out the group was Chris, the thrill-seeker who loved the rush of danger. The moon bathed the village in an ethereal glow as the friends approached the looming mansion. The front door creaked open ominously, as if inviting them into its sinister embrace. Fear and anticipation gripped their hearts, but the allure of unraveling the mystery was too great to resist. As they entered the mansion, an eerie silence enveloped them. Shadows danced on the walls, and the air turned cold, sending shivers down their spines. Each creak of a floorboard echoed through the empty halls, and every gust of wind whispered hauntingly in their ears. It was a labyrinth of darkness, leading them deeper into the heart of the unknown. Suddenly, a blood-curdling scream pierced the silence, jolting them from their trance. Laura, pale as a ghost, pointed towards a tattered painting hanging on the wall. The once beautiful portrait depicted a family, but the faces had been grotesquely disfigured. In the blink of an eye, the faces seemed to twist and contort, as if alive. The friends stumbled backward, gasping for breath, their hearts pounding in terror. They tried to flee, but the mansion seemed to shift, trapping them within its malevolent grasp. The doors slammed shut, cutting off their escape, and the portraits lining the wall seemed to leer at them, their eyes following their every move. The friends found themselves caught in a web of nightmares, unable to wake from the horrific reality that surrounded them. One by one, they fell prey to the vengeful spirits that haunted Blackthorn Manor, Sarah vanished into thin air, her anguished cries echoing through the halls. James, the skeptic, was consumed by a darkness that swallowed his very soul. Laura and Mark were torn apart by an invisible force, their pleas for mercy unanswered. Chris, the thrill-seeker, met a grisly fate, his body contorted in unnatural angles. With each death, the spirits grew stronger fueled by the pain and suffering they inflicted. The once vibrant friends became mere pawns in a twisted game of vengeance. But amidst the chaos and despair, a glimmer of hope remained. As the last surviving friend, Mark, huddled in a dark corner, he realized the true horror that had befallen them. He had to find a way to break the curse, to stop the cycle of death and misery that plagued Blackthorn Manor. He retraced their steps, unraveling the mansion's dark history, and discovered a hidden room concealed behind a bookshelf. Inside, he found an ancient diary, its pages filled with the ramblings of a tormented soul. The diary chronicled the tragic tale of a family who had once lived in the mansion, their lives consumed by greed and betrayal. Mark's eyes widened as he read the final entry, which spoke of a forgotten ritual that could banish the spirits and break the curse. The ritual required an act of self-sacrifice, a willingness to bear the burden of the vengeful spirits, and an offering of redemption. Armed with newfound knowledge, Mark embarked on a desperate quest to save his friend's souls and free the village from the clutches of Blackthorn Manor. With trembling hands, he gathered the necessary items, venturing into the depths of the mansion once more. In the moonlit chamber, Mark prepared the ritual, a mixture of ancient herbs, whispered incantations, and a drop of his own blood. As he completed the ritual, the air crackled with energy and the mansion seemed to tremble. The spirits descended upon Mark, their ethereal forms surrounding him in a swirling vortex of pain and anguish. He gritted his teeth, embracing their torment, and offered his soul as a beacon of light in the darkness. 
The spirits recoil, their screams piercing the night, as Mark's sacrifice began to unravel their hold. In a blinding flash, the mansion shook violently, releasing a cascade of spectral energy that swept through its halls. The spirits, weakened and shattered, dissipated into nothingness, leaving behind a profound silence. Mark, battered and bruised, emerged from the mansion, his friend's names etched in his memory. The curse had been broken, but the price had been high. The villagers, alerted by the commotion, gathered outside, their eyes filled with disbelief and relief. From that day forward, Blackthorn Manor stood as a haunting reminder of the perils of greed and betrayal. The villagers learned the cost of trespassing into the realm of the supernatural and the consequences of disregarding ancient warnings. The moral of this terrifying tale is a reminder to respect the boundaries of the unknown and to heed the warnings of the past. It teaches us that unchecked curiosity and arrogance can unleash forces beyond our comprehension, with dire consequences. The specter of Blackthorn Manor serves as a chilling reminder that some secrets are better left undisturbed, for in the pursuit of forbidden knowledge, we may find ourselves trapped in a nightmare from which there is no escape. Even as time passed, the village whispered of the horrors that had transpired within the walls of Blackthorn Manor. Fear lingered in the air, forever etching a chilling legacy upon the hearts and minds of those who dared to venture near. And so, the tale of Blackthorn Manor became a cautionary tale, a grim reminder to respect the supernatural and to beware the hidden darkness that lies within us all. As the sun rose over the village, its rays casting a golden light upon the somber streets, the villagers emerged from their homes, drawn by the commotion of the previous night. They witnessed Mark, exhausted and scarred, but with a glimmer of resilience in his eyes, standing before the decaying mansion. Whispers spread through the crowd as Mark recounted the harrowing events that had unfolded within the cursed walls of Blackthorn Manor. His voice carried a weight of caution and a plea for unity against the lurking darkness. The villagers listened in solemn silence, their faces etched with awe and dread. From that day forward, the village underwent a transformation. They established rituals and traditions to honor the memory of the fallen friends and to protect themselves from the lingering malevolence of Blackthorn Manor. The villagers vowed to never forget the lesson learned, to respect the boundaries of the supernatural, and to preserve the delicate balance between the mortal realm and the unknown. Generations passed, and the tale of Blackthorn Manor became an integral part of the village's collective memory. Parents shared the story with their children, passing down the wisdom and caution from one generation to the next. The village prospered, yet its inhabitants remained vigilant, knowing that evil could take many forms and lurk in the shadows, waiting for an opportunity to seize their souls. To this day, the village stands as a testament to the power of fear and the enduring lessons learned from Blackthorn Manor. Its streets are bathed in a cautious silence after sundown, and the villagers carry a deep respect for the supernatural forces that dwell beyond their realm of understanding. The moral of this terrifying tale lingers in their hearts, an eternal reminder that humanity is but a fragile existence, and that in the pursuit of forbidden knowledge, we may awaken forces that should remain dormant. The fear of Blackthorn Manor lives on, serving as a chilling testament to the consequences of hubris, curiosity, and the choices we make when faced with the seductive allure of the unknown. And so, as night falls and the wind rustles through the trees, the villagers remain ever watchful, knowing that the line between reality and nightmare is thinner than they could ever imagine. For the true horror lies not in the shadows, but within ourselves, waiting to be unleashed by our own folly. The legacy of Blackthorn Manor serves as a haunting reminder that the darkness we fear the most is the one that resides deep within us all. Ha 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 ha!